Hello and welcome to Publisher Spotlight. And we are delighted to have Catherine Atoshi here. So you know Catherine. Welcome, Catherine. Hello, Ellen. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, we're we're thrilled. So we're going to talk about a book that isn't coming out until next fall. So consider this an official preview of Lunch Every Day. So Catherine, would you tell me a little bit about how Lunch Every Day came? Because this one was cooking for quite a while, wasn't it? It, it certainly was. Um, yeah, with all the kind of the hubbub of what's going on, um, we decided to not um, release it last year, but here it is coming out um, September 7th this year. So we're super excited. And where did the idea for this book come from? Because I know that it's kind of it's a personal book for you. It, in a lot of ways. it is. It's very personal. Well, it's kind of interesting because um, while I was touring around, um, I met an educator, Jim Perez, and he said, you know, you'd be great to come to my school, you know, so I did, I kept doing author visits with him, and uh, we became friends, and then one day over lunch, um, he had said, you know, Catherine, I just wanted to kind of let you know, I, I was kind of a bully growing up. And the reason why this was so impactful when he said that um, is because he does all these anti-bullying programs, which um, the book one is all about standing up and making a difference. And that's what I was going to his schools to speak about. And so I was sort of floored. I almost like dropped my fork when he said that. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like what turned you around? And he said, uh, you know, a really a single act of kindness, um, a continued um, single act of kindness that kept happening every day um, turned him around. So, um, yeah, Lunch Every Day is, is really about um, the generous spirit, um, realizing that people have an opportunity to grow and that he felt like he was labeled as a bully and actually was trying to find a way out of that, um, but didn't know how until someone saw him, saw him differently. An act of kindness can really, truly change the course of someone's life, which just such a powerful message. So don't just tease us, show us the cover of this book. So yeah, please let us All see right. it. The, the mock-up of it, um, lunch every day. And yeah, basically kind of what I did is I decided to show Jim for a long time, kind of as an outsider, you know, um, he mm -hmm. see, he, he says that he was a bully and, you know, his actions, um, Kind of, I, I could see why he called himself that because um, he used to take this kid's lunch at school every single day. And um, what sort of in a nutshell happens is, you know, he kind of labels the kid himself as um, skinny neck and he slumps. And um, so he takes this kid's lunch. And in the beginning, you sort of feel like, um, gosh, what a terrible thing to do. But um, kind of subtly, you start soon discovering that um, some of the reason has to do with the fact that Jim himself does not want to stand in the free lunch, um, under the free lunch sign. And um, he's, he's embarrassed because he said that it was so big that everybody basically knew that, you know, or he felt like he knew that his family didn't, didn't have money. And so he would take this other kid's lunch, which actually happened to be, you know, very tasty, um, but, you know, picked on himself. And um, yeah, just generally in a nutshell, things don't really change. And he's even sent kind of to the principal's office, but um, that's, that doesn't do anything until basically um, the kid um, is having a birthday party and he invites everyone in the classroom, including him. And he's thinking, no way am I going to that thing. But, you know, everybody is so excited about it. The morning of, he kind of looks out his window and he thinks and kind of has a change of heart and he puts on his best shirt and he decides to go. And because he's not prepared and he just decides this spontaneously, he has no gift going in. And the closer he sort of gets to the front door, the more he's thinking about leaving, of course. And he even sees the mom holding that kid's birthday cake. And he stays in the living room and sort of what happens is um, he's, he's really thinking about leaving, but as he's considering leaving, the mom actually um, pokes her head like she knows he's there. And suddenly she sees him and he sees her and he's thinking, I am in so much trouble. She's going to yell at me. Oh, you know, I'm going to be embarrassed. Um, 
So she sees him and she walks right up to him and she says in a real quiet voice, um, basically kneeling down, Jimmy, what would you like for lunch tomorrow? And, um, you know, Jimmy is in tears. He's thinking, I don't, I don't want anything. I don't want anything. Don't give me anything. And she says, I hear you like my lunches. And she's like, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to make a second lunch and my son can bring it for you every day. Okay. And he says, you know what she did. And that's how he got lunch every day and a whole lot more. So, and you know, it is based on truly Jim who has made such a difference in um, all of our lives. He's such an inspiration, but he um, started anti-bullying programs, did gang intervention, really is into community building. And he is um, probably even more um, changed probably over at least 100,000 students' lives. And, um, and again, certainly has changed mine. So that was- wow. Well, thank you so much for taking us on a quick tour of Lunch Every Day. And I just wanna tell people, if you're watching this before TLA, you can meet Catherine in our booth on Friday and Saturday. So look for that information about TLA. And oh my goodness, um, this book is just so amazing. And, and of course, everyone knows one and two and zero and, and beautiful hands. You, you've done so many books that have really touched hundreds of thousands of, of children and their families. So uh, this one will do probably even more. So I just it's just uh, so exciting. And if you would want to sign up for a visit to have lunch with Catherine and Toshi, then we'll have information about that in our booth at TLA. And you can also find it in a variety of places. So, so uh, check with Publisher Spotlight. Follow us on, um, on social media at Pub Spotlight. We'll have information about it there. But Catherine, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. And I'm looking forward to hanging out with you in our booth at the virtual TLA. And uh, yeah. So fantastic. Thank you so much. Again, such an honor. Um, can't wait to see everyone at TLA.